Hi all, welcome back to another card making video. Palm Farm recently had a new release and of course I had to get some of it. I love that the koala from the I Love Eucalyptus set got a body. It's a mirrored image in the new flip flop version. So of course I had to make a card with the two koalas hugging. So without further ado, let's get started. Break je Nederlands en is ondertiteling beschikbaar. First I'm showing you the sets where I got all the images from. If you want to know more about the supplies I used, you can check out the blog post that I linked in the description to have a clear overview of everything. I stamped all the images out using Lanfan Jet Black Ink using my Misty. I start with coloring my images. I use Copic markers for this and I put the cap with the color number on the left of my paper for you to see which color number I use. If you want to skip watching me color, you can skip to the time that pop-ups on the screen now. You can also find the clickable time link in the description. Ever since I got the warm grey markers, it's my favorite to use for greys, especially with critters. But don't worry if you don't have those, they will look great in other greys too. The coloring of both koalas is the same, only mirrored of course, so I'm not showing both. But what I want to mention is that although the coloring is the same, I went down one number of all the markers I used. This way they differ a little which looks nice on the card. All the leaves are colored the same way, but if you would like you could bring some variation in too by adding another color. The branches are going to be hidden for the largest part, so I don't need to color those all the way down. After coloring, I like to go over the inner lines with a black fine liner to bring back some detail. This is totally optional, but for me it makes a difference, especially with darker colors like these grays. When I'm done doing the black lines, I'm adding highlights with a white gel pen. I die cut the images off screen. With the largest die from the large stitched rectangle stackables I cut a panel out of watercolor paper. In the new release there were also these plaid stencils. They come in a set and when you use them both you can create fun plaid backgrounds. But for this card I'm only using the big stripes. I love that about these stencils, that you can use them separately. I use a little tape runner to temporarily glue my paper to my work surface. I position the stencil and tape it down to keep everything in place. With Distress Oxide, Mode Lawn and Twisted Citron, I'm going to blend the gradient. I'm doing both colors in an L shape, so I will get a nice striped gradient. The middle part will be covered with another panel, so I don't need to do any ink blending there. By the way, if you like my videos, you can support my channel by subscribing. It's totally free to do so. If you already are a subscriber, thank you! When I'm done ink blending, I remove the tape and carefully use my tweezers to get the paper off my work surface since it's glued down. Off screen, I'm splattering the background with some thinned down gold echo line using a small paintbrush. I wanted to do something extra to the background, so I dig through my stash and found these green foils. It only needs a tacky surface to stick to, so I'm using a quickie glue pen from Sakura to add some spots of glue. I try to distribute them evenly, but also that it doesn't feel too symmetrical. Keep in mind that the middle will be covered with a panel later on. I wait for the glue to dry just a little so it gets tacky and then I press down the foil on it, lift it up again and then you get these cool splotches of foil accents on the background. 
On the really rainbow papers, I took this green striped paper and cut it with a one size smaller die from the same rectangle set. As you can see, they form a nice layout together. I placed the paper in my misty so I can stamp on the sentiment. Here's the sentiment from the flip flop set and it says you are qualified for a hug, which is so much fun for this card. I use my misty for easy placement of the sentiment and so that I can stamp it on a few times to get a nice and crisp impression. I made a craft paper card base and I removed the foam out of my misty so I can use it to easily glue on my back panel into the right spot. I used some tape runner and I placed the card in the corner, followed by placing the back panel into the corner as well and then pressing it down. Now it's time to assemble the card. I'm first gluing the trees to the back of the patterned paper panel. I want one in the top right corner and one on the opposite side. I vary their orientation a bit so it doesn't look too symmetrical. I check the placement with my car base to see if it doesn't stick out too far. When everything is good, I glue it down. Next, I'm gluing the koalas together. I stick the legs of the left one over the right one's legs, because his arms are behind the other one's arms, just like its head. This way it looks a little more dynamic. With some thin foam tape, I adhere the panel and the trees to the car base. Now I also use some thin foam tape to adhere the koalas in place. I can now easily decorate the cards with all the leaves. I stick some in the corner with the trees so it looks like the tree embraces the corners. I also adhere some partially behind the koalas to tie them in with the rest. And when all the leaves are glued down, the card is done. I love how easy this card is to make, but still has quite a few fun techniques and details involved so it isn't boring to make. I can see myself making more of these in every color of the rainbow. I hope I inspired you with my video and that you feel inspired to get crafty as well. If so, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel and ringing the bell to receive a notification when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!